From the Streets Newsroom, I'm Jill Malandrino, along with Andrew Krill, Equities Analyst for Action Alerts Plus. In December, which is typically a slower month, usually ending up, it's a little bit different as the taper conversation has shifted gears as traders are now positioning for a token taper in December as several economic data have come in much better than expected. And we also have the shortened time between Thanksgiving and Christmas because of the way the days fell this year. But next week, Andrew, what are we going to be focusing on? So as we have a shortened holiday season this year and next week another big report will be Costco on Wednesday. And like you said, yeah, both high end and low end, we're seeing really mixed results in the retail sector. So I think that, as well as retail sales on Thursday, are going to be two important data points to look at. Right. We don't have much domestic data coming out next week, but there are a few numbers in China that we will be paying attention to. I said in China, we're going to get industrial production, also trade data next week. We also get Eurozone industrial production. And both those regions have data has been surprised on the upside recently, so we'll see if that trend continues. And there's also another couple names that we're going to be looking at as well, Adobe and also a big home builder next week. Yes, Toll, and we'll get to see if the, how would they have any commentary on the rising rates and any effect they may be having on their business. Right, and I think it's really important to look at those two names going into 2014, because as we mentioned earlier in the week, financials and industrials are going to be two key sectors that we're going to think of as defensive relative to taper talk earlier in December than we expected in February and March. Yes, those are two sectors we're actually overweight for going heading into next year. They're going to benefit from improving data we've been seeing, especially in the manufacturing sector. And then the banks also, with the rising rates, are definitely going to help. Okay, well, we're certainly seeing that bullish options action in the banks as well, so we will be focusing on that. Have a great weekend, everybody.